we've never seen anything like it, right? The, the, the world was not prepared for this crisis because we've never faced a crisis like it. We've lost a lot of time. We missed opportunities. We failed, uh, for sure, we failed. A lethal virus, what the World Health Organization calls a biosafety level four virus. Very high rates of lethality, uh, no cure, no vaccine. And now it's running amok in society. We've never confronted anything like this. And it's in urban settings. It's spreading in urban settings. So traditional methods for getting it under control where you isolate and treat the patient and then track every contact they've had, that, that's just not happening now. So we're, we're in uncharted waters. We've never been here before. We don't know where it's gonna go. It's not simply a matter of getting airplanes flying, it's not simply a matter of getting cars on roads and getting communications capacity out there. It's a matter of people changing behaviors that have evolved over hundreds of years and are really the, you know, the fabric of their societies. That's the tough part. That is the biggest unknown. In Ebola epidemic, what you see is not the danger. The danger is what you don't see. The biggest difficulty, the biggest challenge is the unknown. We, we don't know what this disease is doing. We cannot say that in one month or, or three months, we know what things will look like. We cannot say the crisis is going to be under control. I don't know how many people now are affected by the virus. We don't know where they are. We don't know what the transmission patterns are. We don't even know the very basics. When you're looking forward, you must have a feeling about where this is going. I think we're headed in the wrong direction. I think we're headed in the wrong direction.